everyone. This is take two because I forgot to push the record button. Jim's not here to do this little bit for me. So hi everyone. I'm Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I had, was actually was just telling you but you didn't hear me because it wasn't turned on. But I was telling you that I'm going to share with you my little incubator that I made. I had a request to show that and share how it's made and what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little video in of that and along with it I'm going to have a little bit of Mr. Brown's hatching. So I hope you enjoy seeing it. I'm going to put it in right here. I had questions about my homemade incubator for the eggs to hatch them out. Well this is what I used. I used one of these styrofoam it, medicine actually came in this and I had some plexiglass and that's what I put in it and then I put straws in the top and in the side because I had a hard time maintaining the temperature and get it, keeping it down low enough so these are like vent holes. Inside the, the incubator I have a thermometer and this thermometer has the humidity temperature a thing for it on there too. So you need something that can... Jake, you're walking everywhere. What are you doing? You hear me talking and you think somebody's here. Nobody is here. I'm just talking to myself and to the people that are listening. You want to make sure you have the humidity and the temperature because you're going to have to gauge that. I also have in here that I use... Because you need moisture, I have a bottle so I can squirt the sponge that I'm going to show you. I put a sponge in there, and I wet the sponge, and then I put the sponge in this little container. Because you don't want the egg to get wet. So you put the sponge in there. Or you can put the sponge on the outside and put the egg in here with a paper towel whichever way you want to go but you have to have moisture and you have to have temperature and I use this little bulb here this is just a bulb from a flower that I took it out and I just stuck it in there and it plugs into the wall and it warms this little container this is what the bulb came out of. This used to be a night light, and it had the little bulb inside the bottom of this, and you would just plug it in, and then the light would come out through the flower. It's really a pretty decoration, and it really looked pretty as a night light. But I needed it for the incubator for the little egg that I wanted to hatch. And the egg I hatched was Mr. Brown. Another thing you needed to know, and I wrote it down, I had it, I printed it out so you can read it too if you'd like or hold it and pause it so that you can see it. But what it is, is you have to maintain temperature inside the incubator and it's got to be 99.5 degrees all the time. What you, and the humidity has to be 40 to 50 percent for the first 18 days and then after that it's got to be up to 65 and 75 percent humidity and you have to turn the eggs a couple times a day I turn them several days and then on the 18th day you don't touch the egg you leave it for the last three days and this way it's called a lockdown is what it's called because you're not supposed to touch or open the incubator in any way so I will show you these again so in case you want to read them yourself, there they are. Oh my goodness, it's Pippin. My little chick is going to hatch. See it? It's moving things. This will be, I'll have to keep an eye on it so I can give you updates as it goes. I can hear it peeping. Peep, 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 click, 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 we'll encourage it. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Come on, baby, you can do it. This 
will be great. Do you see the little hole? I don't want to open it because right now it's a dangerous time to open. For those of you that didn't know, the reason Mr. Brown is in the house is because she imprinted herself upon me. I don't know if you've ever seen Fly Away Home where the girl has the, the geese, the wild geese eggs, and she puts them in a dresser drawer and she saves them. That's the same thing with Mr. Brown. I was the first thing that she saw. So I'm her chicken mama. And you'll hear me clucking in the video. You heard me clucking already because you've seen it already. And what it is is when the baby eggs are trying to hatch, the mother's doing this cluck, 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 cluck sound to try to encourage them to, to keep coming out of the egg. And that's what I was trying to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.